So you've got voyages on the arms. Mm -hmm. The hauberk goes over your chest. The chest, the heel, chest. I guess you know what to do with the helmet. Um, yeah, yeah, that was the only bit I figured out. <laughs> How come you're so much better at this than me? Every hero must have his heroine. Friend of Merlin, servant of Morgana, and future Queen of England, Guinevere. Gwen is a young girl who's um, a maid who works in the castle um, with Morgana. She's Morgana's maid servant. Um, and she's grown up in Camelot, I think. She's probably um, been Morgana's maid servant since they were very little. So they've got a, quite a loyal relationship, although it's still sort of like mistress servant, really, when it comes down to it. I feel I've put you in danger without ever stopping to ask how you feel about it. I'm sorry. I know how it feels to face the threat of execution. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone. When she first meets Merlin, he, he arrives in Camelot, and um, the first time she sees him, he's standing up to Arthur, who she thinks is a bit of an arrogant pig, really. I warn you, I've been trained to kill since birth. Wow. How long have you been training to be a prat? <laughs> you can't address me like that. Sorry. <laughs> how long have you been training to be a prat? My lord. <laughs> <laughs> She just has this sort of quirky thing where she, she'll say more than she means to say about how she feels, sort of incidentally, and then get really embarrassed and sort of backtrack and get really flustered. All right, what am I thinking? I'm not psychic. <laughs> You're strange. I, I, don't, I don't mean that in a nasty way. Probably the thing that I really enjoyed was um, we got to do a bit of fighting in episode 10. We got to, because the girls rarely get given any weapons, you know, that's the boys' domain. Um, and we were sort of, we went on at the producers for ages, and I don't know if it was because we went on at them or just because they had the idea already, but they eventually gave us a sword and we did some fighting with some stuntmen, which was great. I loved it, so much fun. Well, generally, you just sort of turn up on set that morning and they teach you the moves and then you kind of, you do it. And it's all quite sort of broken down because obviously doing shots from different angles and stuff, so it's not like you have to learn a big, long fight. But, um, I mean, I did some training at drama school anyway, so I was sort of prepared. Behind the camera, an army of costume designers base their creations on the entire Middle Ages, working to create the magical wardrobe of Merlin. So we've got our core principles, Uther, Merlin, Arthur. And obviously they have their own kind of like capsule wardrobes, if you like. Um, we have visiting uh, guest artists in for each episode, and we've had fairies, we've had phantom knights, and then we have all our background artists. The majority of that happens when we're shooting in France, and they can be anything from, you know, peasants to courtiers, knights, guards, always have these big swirling red cloaks that they all kind of hate having to deal with. And we had a big jousting tournament recently, so that was quite an operation, organising having all the armour made. And not just made, but then fitted on each of our stunt riders. Given the responsibility of an entire kingdom, Uther Pendragon is a man of great gravitas and foreboding. The actor behind the legend, Anthony Head. Uther does have a soft side. I mean, ultimately, he's, you know, I mean, people have said, well, oh, you're bad. It's like, well, no, I, don't, I personally don't think he is. And I'm grateful to the writers and the producers for going along with my feeling that basically he has a reason for everything he does. It might not be very popular, but he has a, a, a difficult country to run in difficult times. And in his limited experience, um, Basically, you know, magic is just always bad. You know nothing of what it means to be king. The fate of Camelot rests in my hands. And the kingdom is doomed. You speak treason, Morgana. Only a madman hears the truth as treason. Take care, child, or I'll have you restrained. You just try. What it's like for a young girl to be discovering her own powers can only be imagined. So too for the woman behind Morgana, Katie McGrath. I can think of worse things to be doing. Mm -hmm. When I first heard that the BBC were doing it, um, I remember saying to my mum that I actually wasn't interested in playing Guinevere because I think Morgana's a much more interesting ca character. She's got the best story arc, the best places to go. And, and, you know, who doesn't want to be the bad girl at the end of the day and the princess with the nice dresses? And I get the best of both worlds. I get to be the good girl at the start. And, you know, and since everybody knows what she's going to end up being, I become this amazingly powerful, badass girl. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? I'm sorry about the mess. Most of us Merlin's, if I'd known you were coming, I'd have tied it up in here. Uh, it's not that, it's just your bench is on fire. My bench is on fire. What you? My bench is on fire! 
Merlin cannot be expected to handle his powers alone. Here. His teacher, Gaius, is there to offer a guiding hand. Yes, I mean, I haven't really done a sort of long uh, drama series before, so it's very exciting. It's very exciting that it's um, doing so well and, and selling to places like Australia, of course. Um, and uh, I sort of feature early on as Merlin's mentor. I'm looking after him and trying to control, him because as you know, magic is banned in the kingdom. Are you using magic again? No. What's all this then? So I'm trying to um, keep us reins on him. Richard Wilson has one of his own tricks up his shoe. I do wear, I've got a pair of medieval boots, but underneath there's a set of trainers, the latest Nikes, which um, is very helpful because my feet are not at their best. So yes, I, I wear trainers, but no one knows. Still to come on this journey into the secrets of Merlin, see how the magic of monsters is made. And